Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena games video. Today we're taking a look at a Junt Gravestorm Calsification combo deck. Yesterday we featured a more competitive blue-black flash deck and people complain about it. So today we're janking it up with Calsification, a 7-mana enchantment aura from Ikoria. When it enters the battlefield it taps the enchanted creature, but it does get plus 20 plus 20. So a very powerful effect, but we do have some deck building uh, challenges that we need to solve. Now the easiest combo with Colossification, of course, is Storm Herald, a 3-mana three 3-2 three, human shaman with haste, that when it enters the battlefield returns any number of aura cards that we can attach to our creatures, but those will be exiled at the end of turn, even if they leave the battlefield some other way, so we only get one shot at reanimating Colossification and doing something useful with it if we play the Storm Herald, so we either need to untap the creature that we're enchanting with Colossification, or we need to maybe sacrifice it to a fling, which when we sacrifice a creature deals damage equal to that sacrifice creature's power to any target so we can maybe just fling the calcification creature to the opponent to win the game on the spot. The way to untap the creature is with Kiora Behemoth Beckoner which with the minus one can untap target permanence. So these are some of the main combos in the deck and of course in order to discard calcification we also have Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility so if we draw the calcification we can just discard it and draw some extra cards. Now this doesn't make the deck consistent enough in my opinion. I did have a red-green version that uh, just played all these cards in addition to Gruul Spellbreaker as a nice target for classification that the opponent can't mess with during our turn. Also has built-in trample so the opponent can't shun block it. We also played Incubation Druid and uh, Stony Strength as another way of untapping the creature once we get classification back. And that deck was nice because it had that built-in trample to just attack and trample over any chum blockers, but it wasn't quite consistent enough in my opinion. So instead I splashed black for Gravebreaker Lamia, which is where the Grave from Gravestorm comes in. So a 5 mana 4-4 four, four Snake Lamia with lifelink, and when it enters the battlefield we can search our library for a card and put it into our graveyard. And of course the goal is to search up classification and put it in our graveyard, so we can then get it back with our Storm Herald. And since we only have four copies of Storm Herald, we're also playing two copies of Finale of Devastation as a way of searching up our Storm Herald and putting it in play. It does cost us five mana to play Finale for three to get Storm Herald, which is pretty pricey, and then we need a cure in play to untap the enchanted creature, or we need two additional mana to cast Fling. So it is pretty pricey, but that's also why we're playing some mana creatures here in uh, Paradise Druid, which can also fix our mana, as well as Wolf Willow Haven, which is pretty nice with Kiora, since we can enchant a land and then untap the enchanted land with Kiora to essentially make two extra mana instead of just one. And I think we've covered almost every single card in the deck by now, so yeah. We've got our ramp with Paradise Root, Wolf Willow Haven, as well as Kiora. So every now and then we can also just hard cast the Colossification if we get to 7. We've got Cathartic Reunion and Thrill to discard Colossification and other combo pieces we don't need to dig deeper into our deck. We've got our Fling as a finisher, Kiora to untap. Storm Herald to bring back Colossification, Lamia to put the Colossification in the graveyard, also triggers Kiora to draw a card, and then finally as copies 5 through 6 of Storm Herald, sometimes if we have enough mana we can also get the Lamia with it, and then of course Colossification, which is the centerpiece of the deck, and then the mana base, we've got all 12 Shock Lands, as well as 4 Temple of Abandon and 2 Temple of Malady, and then uh, 2 Forests and 2 Mountains. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play, and don't love this hand. Do have some card selection with Thrill and Cathartic, but we're missing Colossification and Storm Heralds. This is better. Now I probably want to keep the Lamia, so either I have to get rid of Reunion or Haven. I guess we'll ditch Reunion. It's a little sketchy because we're also missing the black mana, so I might need Reunion to find the black for Lamia in the first place. But we'll try this. We're facing a Kahira deck. I usually like enchanting a red source with a haven. Just because with Kiora we sometimes want to untap a land and be able to use two mana to fling. So if we don't have red, we can be in a bit of trouble. Alright, there's Paradise Roots to help us play Lamia. Now I'm still missing fling to really combo off. 
Symbiote could also gain upon some life, so if they go above 23, I might struggle to kill them in one attack. Or uh, with one fling. Take four. Alright, there's a fling. So we could potentially win next turn if they don't mutate again. Alright, they're gonna mutate, killing the Lamia with the Gem Racer here. So if I draw an untapped land, I could still kill them. Because then the Druid gets to attack for two. Nice. Alright, so we'll uh, send in the Druids. Storm Heralds. Get back Colossification. Sometimes if you want to play around removal, you could also enchant the Paradise Root with Hexproof and in response to the tap trigger, you can uh, sacrifice a Druid so it still has Hexproof and the opponent can't mess with it in any way. But there we go, sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a pretty nice hand. We've got all the pieces for a potential turn five kill. No acceleration, so we can't really speed up the process too much. But maybe the reunion can find one. The deck is capable of winning on turn four if we play Cura turn three and then untap the Storm Herald on turn four. And yeah, Paradise Root was a nice pickup, so I think we'll play that first. And then next turn we can Reunion. Don't really know what else to discard besides Colossification at the moment. Opponent on a red-black. So I think I'll discard Temple, because I could draw into another 2-mana Accelerant that I can play here. And there's a Wolf Willow Haven. Typically like enchanting the red mana for Kira purposes. And yeah, if they don't kill anything, we could kill them next turn. If they kill Paradise Roots, then uh, it might take a little bit longer opponent with Thrill discarding a land. Libation blows up my enchantments, so now I'm one mana short. Alright, I guess we'll uh, reunion discarding some finales. Could also finally for two to get another Paradise Druid, but I think just hitting our land drops is safer at this point in case they have more interaction. Right, there's Kyura. So we can even attack with the Storm Heralds potentially. I'll untap the Paradise Druid in case of some spot removal. Rampage makes a Sakura. That's fine. Another classification, not too useful, but yeah, let's just go for it. So now I think what I'm gonna do is the uh, enchanting of the Paradise Roots. So I'll go full control. That way we can put the classification on the Paradise Roots. And then a response to the trigger, fling. And our opponent's dead. Sweet. 
on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Hand looks quite good. Both uh, Storm Herald and Colossification. Thrill to discard. And maybe Cure out to untap. We might still need a fling if uh, opponent has a chum blocker. Turn on Footlight Fiends. Alright, well, Cathartic seems fine. Don't think we'll be hard casting Colossification with this hand. Couple more lands and curas. Alright, so the chances of Storm Herald actually connecting are pretty low, since the opponent seems to be playing a lot of creatures. Now they could have Planeswalker removal, in which case I want to back up Kiora, but I also want to keep my lands. So I'd probably get rid of one of them still. I guess I'll play Cura. There's a chance we could kill them next turn, but it's a pretty slim chance. Opponent's Junt. Timurit calls it that, so they do have a Chum Blocker most likely here. So yeah, we're gonna need to find a Fling as soon as possible. So I guess we'll Thrill discard Temple. Or I could Temple first to get this Cry. Maybe that's worth it. Well, there's Fling. So... Thrill discard Temple seems fine. The ocean surges, All right, everything is in place for uh, the combo next turn, and we've got double classification. So even if they gain some life, it's no big deal. If they make me discard again, I can get rid of the Paradise Druids. Kira takes three, that's fine. Don't really need Kira for the combo here. And a Mayhem Devil. Sure. Alright, it's showtime. I guess I can play this untapped. And then we can even go full control to play it extra safe. Put these on Paradise Roots. And in response, we'll fling. And there we go, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. We're missing Storm Heralds, but we do have Lamia to put Classification in the graveyards. Can discard a Fling to Reunion. I'll try it. Facing a Zerda deck, there's Classification. Do I need it though? I guess it's fine to draw it and just discard to Reunion. That way I don't need to rely on the Lamia as much. So this could be some sort of red-white cycling deck, as we see the Flourishing Fox. Still no Storm Herald or uh, Finale to find it. But I can potentially play a turn for Lamia and draw a card with Kira, which is pretty nice. 
It's the double flourishing fox opener. It's pretty scary. Yeah, they could easily kill my Curan that I play here. So I guess I might want to play Haven instead. We do potentially miss out on the card draw from Kiora, but I would rather guarantee the Lamia next turn. Take six. All right, let's play Lamia. So if I draw finally next turn, I'm still going to be one mana short, but then I should be able to pull off the combo the turn after, but that might be too slow. So just drawing the Storm Heralds is probably our best bet. Fox up to a 4-4, I'm pretty much forced to block, because if they cycle again, I'm dead if I take it, so not much of a choice. Alright, Storm Herald off the top. Oh wow, that's just insane. I can even do it with Cura if I want to. Sure, why not? We've had plenty of fling kills. Let's do an actual combo damage kill. Well, better lucky than good, as they say. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. This hand is missing both a Storm Herald and maybe a Fling, although Kiora could always uh, untap. Do have a bit of ramp with Druid and Haven. This could also be a hand where I just hard cast Calcification with Haven and Kiora ramping quite a bit. I do have two tap lands, which I don't love, but I might be able to scry into an untap land. We'll try it, but I'm not uh, convinced that this is great. So I can go turn to Haven, turn three, hopefully Kiora, untap the Haven, play Druids. And then we're on our way to hard casting classification. Up against the Giruda deck, which is gonna try and do something impressive on uh, the turn they play Giruda. Yeah, let's uh, play Cura. Don't need another Lamia, I don't think, even though it draws a card with Cura. Migration path, so next turn they can play Geruda. Maybe hit a Spark Double to get a copy and kind of start going off that way. Let's see if we can do better. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I mean, I can play Calcification this turn. The only downside is that I won't be able to untap the creature that I enchant with it. If I play Lamia this turn, play my land, next turn I have another land drop. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can untap with Cure and attack. So I think it's better to play the Lamia this turn. Put another one in the graveyard. Play Temple. Don't think I'll need another one. And 
then I guess I'll just pass. Could untap and cathartic, but I think we just want to hard cast the calcification. And I don't think uh, untapping Druid for two damage is necessarily worth it. Suppose I should have maybe kept the uh, calcification on top so they would mill it with Jiruda, since that's a, a brick. That makes sense. We did indeed uh, mill a Storm Herald. Kogla takes out. My Lamia. So are we happy to put the opponent in Shumblock mode on this Paradise Druid? I guess so. We lose Kyura next turn, but we don't really need it. Although, I guess Kogla can destroy the Colossification next turn. But at least we force them to jump with Jiruda, so if they have a Spark Double in hand, they won't be able to copy it. And then we'll need to draw into another Storm Herald, pretty much. They had another Jiruda in hand. Find Spark Double. Yeah, this one's gonna be an uphill battle. Takes out Paradise Roots. Well, there's a fling. So close, yet so far away. So I guess we need to Cathartic. There's a Storm Herald, but I don't have the Fling anymore. And am I taking Lethal next turn? 14, yep. I guess I have to jump with the Paradise Root and hope to draw a Fling next turn. I'll keep the Tomb in hand in case of Thrill of Possibility. Let's see, Thrill. Storm Herald could technically still Fling afterwards. Alright. I guess I get to destroy my Haven too here. So I might be one mana short of uh, that entire sequence. 14, yeah, I have to chump. Yeah, the Kogla destroying enchantments was surprisingly relevant this game. Without it, we probably would have been able to kill them. So just need a fling off the top, easy peasy. Sure. Alright, did not mill over a fling. That's good. Guard Mage for some life gain. Doesn't matter since we have multiple classifications in the graveyards. Come on, fling. Ah, so close. Would have been nice. Yes. All right, we're on the draw. So I've got Thrill discarding classification. Finally, to get Storm Heralds, still missing Fling or maybe Cura to untap. I'll try it. Double Paradise Druid means it's going to be pretty uh, manageable to cast finally for three. Facing Paradise Roots. Point on Simic. It's gonna be Greathorn mutated onto the Paradise Roots to get a land. Gets a forest, so they are just blue green. Lamia's not bad. 
I'm actually tempted to just discard Finale instead of uh, Colossification in case we want to just hardcast the Colossification, since now we have Lamia to put an extra copy in the graveyard. Symbiotes. And Parcel Beasts. Alright. So you get to search up another land. Gain some life from the Symbiotes. Gotta be careful that we can still kill them with one fling. No attacks. There's a Storm Heralds. And there's a fling. So if I had discarded Calcification, we would have killed them right now. But uh, that's fine, we can wait a turn. Let's play the Lamia. And then we should be able to get there next turn. Auspicious Sterix. So they go up to 22, which is still within range. Ooh. They found a Thassa and a Cura. What does that mean? They can break up the Mutate by blinking it. Don't think that matters too much. Symbiote only gains life if they're actually mutating. Can untap the Parcel Beasts. Starix here with Cura to still attack. Let's get moving. Nope, they're just gonna hang back. Alright, let's go. Sweet. So, yeah, I'm kind of amazed at how consistent the deck is proving to be. Only lost one game, and even in the game we lost, we were very close to killing them with a fling. So, overall, the deck's a lot more consistent than it might appear. I think Lamia is a good addition for the deck that gives it a bit more consistency at finding the Colossification in the graveyard. And then, so far, I think Fling is probably the cleanest way to win the game, as opposed to trying to untap the creature, which kind of relies on you also having Trample, because otherwise the opponent can just chum block unless they're a control deck without any creatures in play. So yeah, Junt uh, Gravestorm, give it a try if you've got uh, cards for it, but uh, probably not the most competitive deck out there. So I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.